Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I'm in my mom's house with this grumpy child and her aunt and my husband. So I've been actually fiending for a Coke float. A Coke float. Do you guys know what's in here? It's Pepsi and vanilla ice cream from Mr. Softy. You say you want a Coke float and you say there's Pepsi inside. Please don't take me out of Because that's what it is. It's a Coke float. But it's still called a Coke float, no? Yeah, they so put Coke in it. They put Pepsi in it. They put Pepsi in it. Mr. Softy put Pepsi in it. I watched him do it. Well, the ones I usually get is Pepsi, not Coke. This is Dominican Mr. Softy. No. It's Pepsi. I know the difference between Pepsi and Coke. Pepsi float. It's not a Coke float. It's not called a Pepsi float. It's still called a Coke float. It's called a soda float. There's no such thing as a Pepsi float. Okay, so I got a soda float. A soda float. But it is a Coke float. I watched him. he put Coke in it? Well, usually Mr. Softy uses Pepsi, not Coke. That's why I love him so much, because I like Pepsi. Well, you've been eating it with Coke for like the past six times. Live. Live you tell. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Let me sit down. <laughs> well, today was my first day back at work. I miss Samara so, so much, you guys. Like, I missed her. So much. Like I kept thinking about her. I was looking at her pictures. I was looking at some of our vlogs. Like I just completely messed her. I'm actually happy though because my mom's the one that's taking care of her. Like you guys know. Um, my mom's taking care of her, so I know she's in great hands. My mom was sending me pictures literally every half an hour. She will call me all the time to update me on how she was doing. I don't know if you guys know to what extent my mom went, but she literally quit her job to take care of Samara. So so appreciative so happy so blessed to have such a great mother and i know she's in great hands because look at me i'm still alive and i think i turned out to be a pretty good individual um right now we're waiting for daddy dunston to come get us um we actually have two cars and eventually the plan is going to be that when i get home i'll come pick her up and then go back home but his sister is using the car his other car so that plan is on hold for now and for now also i think julie so she my house is on the way to her house so julie has to pick up her daughter so she can pick up her daughter and then she's gonna come here so we're gonna have a lot of festy time can't wait and so samara's here so, I got I got to my mom's house and I'm like, oh my god, I want to take the skirt off. Let me go to my sister's room, you know, to get pants. I look in the drawer and I find my pants. My pants. Like sisters are incredible. Like these are mine. Like oh, look what I'm having, you guys. My mom had a barbecue yesterday and look what's left over. It's a s'more. Look at that marshmallow and chocolate. No crying. No crying. We're not crying. We're not crying. We get up. So then we go to business. You're a good girl to me. Only to me because you love me so much. You love me so much. You don't cry. Do you know what her new thing is? Do you, guess. Guess what her new thing is. Yeah. Putting her fist in her mouth. She started that yesterday. All day she's been doing it, my mom says. And when I got here, she, she's over here like eating her fist. I am currently at work. Yes, I went back to work. I think I told you guys this already that I went back to work. 
there I am. This is my selfie mirror, but it like cuts me in half, which I absolutely hate. But yes, I am back at work and I don't know, it's like bittersweet because I like that I have something. Well, taking care of a child, I always already have something to do, but now I feel like, you know, outside of the home. I am now I've been getting into work at 7.30 in the morning um, because I, my boss gets to work pretty early so then that way I can leave by 3.30 so it works out. Just got here. So you guys, I'm in the elevator but really quick. Do you know I went downstairs to get lunch? Chipotle and um, the girl was like, hey, you had your baby. I was like, yeah, you remembered. And they're like, don't worry, it's on us. So I got my lunch for free. People are so nice. I love people, I swear. They're so nice. Free Chipotle. So I got steak, corn, beans, and white rice. You guys want to tour my desk? Okay, so I have this coffee cup here. It says, I can do all things through Christ. Philippians 413. This was from an edible arrangement that I got from Dom and a spatula. I got it from one of those from a show. Let's see. My coffee cup from this morning. A whole bunch of papers. Let me show you guys my picture wall. That's Dominic and me. And that's baby Samara before she was baby Samara, or before she was born. That's also us on our wedding day. This is a picture from Paulina's wedding. This was me at a pet show in Orlando. And that's it, I don't have any more pictures. This is called a message in, the bo in a bottle. And when Dominic and I got engaged, he sent me this to my job. The next day, let me show you guys what it says. When I open it, it says, Mrs. Dunstan, thank you for making me the happiest man ever. Love, Mr. Dunstan. Like I started crying when I saw that note. It was so, he's just so thoughtful and so sweet and I think you guys know that already. So this was, I received this the day right after we got engaged. So that was really sweet of him. Hi! Baby, hi, hi, mama. What are you doing? Are you happy to see mama? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi, mama. Okay, I want to carry you. I want to stop recording. I want to carry you. Yeah. Oh, mama, so happy to see you. But mama, so happy to see you. No crying. No, no crying. Mommy's so happy to see you. Wow. I miss you, Mama. Okay. Whose little baby's feet is that? Whose little baby's feet is that? Ever since I changed my schedule to 7.30 to 3.30, it's been wonderful. I feel like the days go by so fast. And I get to see the chubby face. Who's that? Who's that? Who is that, mama? Who is that? Don't make all those faces. <laughs> Who's that? Chubby cheeks. Who's that? Is that you? Is that you, mama? Is that my baby? What are you doing? What are you doing? My little sister. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You see yourself on the camera? Look at those chubby cheeks. Hey. And there's the babysitter over there. <laughs> Hi, mommy. <laughs> I mean, 
Let's talk, you guys. Let's talk for real. Having my mom as the babysitter is the best decision I've ever made. Well, one of the best decisions I've ever made in my whole entire life. One, I know I've said this before, my daughter is well taken care of. But two, and most importantly, is that I am well fed. I come home to a hot plate of food. There's some chicken, some avocado here, some rice, some beans. Thanks to that lovely lady over there, I love her. So exciting. Here, yummy. Ready to go home? You ready to see your daddy later? So jealous, I feel so bad. So guys, Actually, Choco's my dog. I don't know if you guys knew that. My bought I knew. I don't know if you guys knew that. I bought him one day. That I passed by a pet store, and I just thought he was the cutest thing. And he had to stay at my parents because there's no pets allowed in our apartment. I think he loves my parents more than me, so he could care less actually. So, what? This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. So I actually took some some um, graham crackers, marshmallows, and Hershey's. Don't tell my brother. Um, but like, I'm like obsessed now with s'mores. It's the most unhealthiest thing ever. Maybe not the graham crackers, but everything else is. Look who's holding her pacifier. Look who's holding it. Oh my god, I'm so amazed. I'm so amazed. Get your hands out of your mouth. So that means she was like whining that whole time up to three in the morning. We, we probably kind of early. She's always been, her last bottle has always been like 10. Well no, the past couple of days has been 10 and she's been good till five in the morning. Maybe you're going through a growth spurt. Uh. All right, mama, say good night to everybody. All right, guys. Good night. I'm going to spend some time with my familia, and then I'm going to go to sleep because I get up mighty early. But I am so happy. Tomorrow is Thursday, closer to Friday. As always, we love you guys. We adore you, and I will see you on Sunday. Do you think vlogging could potentially ruin relationships? Like being a daily vlogger, do you think it could potentially ruin relationships? I think if you're not